Okay. So, hey, just had some breakfast. What had uh, eggs, uh, kale, you know, well, steamed up kale or whatever, fried a little bit of fried up kale. Uh, what else do I have? Um, oh, salmon. Oh, this is, uh, I better pick that up. This is salmon skin, toasted, burnt, whatever you call it. No, I read someplace up in New England. I have a lot of salmon, wherever it is. They're actually taking the salmon skin, which is what this is, and they're toasting it and selling it. And they used to um, just some water here. They used to just throw it away, but now they're making money off it. Hey, little American ingenuity. So I was looking through my uh, email or whatever have you. Got some stuff. Uh, what is this? Um, Tyler Perry's studio opens to bigger, uh, bigger than the Warner Brothers, Disney, and Paramount combined. I did a whole thing on that one. Oh, Tyler Perry and whatever. Congratulations for what he did. But of course, there's always issues around it because he did, he pulled the whole, you know, capitalist gangster move as far as, far as the neighborhood goes and laws and all the rest of that stuff. But, hey, it's got a huge, you know, propaganda factory built and a black man runs it somehow. Hopefully he runs it all the way. Open letter to the white couple who wrote a Penn State football about his awful, disgusting hair. Talking about dreadlocks. Man, these white people, I guess they was in the wrong century. They don't understand where they were. Man. They, 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 I think they were talking about like back when the people were clean cut, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so somebody responded to People responded to him. Yeah, you know, talking about, hey, how about the white people have, they have uh, you know, tattoos and blah, 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 blah. Nothing here. You know, just, well, dare I say, racist white supremacists think that they still on top, but they ain't. Did I tell you, wait a second. Where was I? I was getting off the bus. Oh, 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 oh. And taking the bus from D.C. I must have mentioned it. Anyway, I take the bus from D.C. And, um, you know, I was arriving in New York. I got up and get, get off right away. You know what I mean? There's these two, you know, white ladies sitting in front. There's one older, one younger. And she, she looked at me. She, the, the, one, the younger one looked at me. Um, Can you wait? I'm ready to shoot out the door, you know, jump on train. Whatever. Can you wait? I said no, and kept on going because with the way she the way she did it was like you know you got to wait because I'm white and we blah I don't know anyway so that's white supremacy for you. Uh, what's that? A steamy reminder. Uh, reminder. Oh, Simo Tets having something. Betty Dobson. Oh, Malefia Sante. Wait a second. What's that? Oh, let me check that out. Malefia Sante. Somebody else. Who's this? Brother Raymond uh, um, Duji. U N I A High. Chancellor, well, that's this must be a Marcus Garvey thing. Oh, that might be interesting. I bet you are. Uh, oh, I think probably Melvin's probably. I'll call Melvin later, see how it went. Hmm. See what they think about ADOS. It'll probably come up. They'll see what happens. But that's the day I'm here. I'm in Virginia, so you know. And my, uh, my brother in law just made this salmon. So I was, he baked it yesterday. We always have salmon. I like salmon. Anyway, if you hear some murmuring in the background, I don't think you don't think you hear, because he's a he's an Israel Hebrewite. So this is a Sabbath. So they, you know he listens to the speeches all day long. You know new ones or whatever have it. Very interesting. Um, what else is happening here? I forget what's happening here. So anyway, after I finished my breakfast, guess what happened? The cat came to the door. Democrat Len Myers for delegate. New leadership, new leadership for New Virginia. Learn more about our friend Lynn, proud lifelong resident, dedicated father and family man, distinguished consumer rights attorney, successful small business owner, strong record of service in our community. It's all very vague. His things, improving our schools through funding and innovation, reducing the cost of our health care, Increasing our minimum wage to a living wage, making us safer through common sense gun safety, protecting our homes, farms, and businesses from flooding. Democrat Lynn Myers for delegate, 81st district. So I'm in the 81st district now. And I, you know, you know, I, I used to be in the uh, congressional third congressional district with um, uh, Bobby 
Scott or whatever his name is, you know what I mean? But now they changed me. Now I mean, now now we're in the the, the the fourth congressional district with Don McKeach, whatever that guy is. He's new. I don't, I mean, he's new to me, so I, I got to look him up, whatever, have him find out if he's ADOS. Anyway, so that's what he's saying. But it's vague. Sounds like a corporate Democrat. So anyway, I asked, oh, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what happened. So he came to the door. He talked to my sister, right? So naturally, I know it's a politician at the door. I, I admire him for knocking door to door. No problem. So my sister leaves. And I go, I said, is that? So we shook hands. We talked. No, no, we talked. I said, oh, you know uh, ADOS? I said, no, I don't know what that is. You know? I said, really? Oh, you should look it up. I said, put it in your phone. ADOS101.com. And so he, so as as he tried to do it, but talking, he sort of mucked it up. I said, no, ADOS. 101.com. So he did it right. He said, oh, it came right up. I said, yeah, you should, you should, you should look at, look into that. You know, see what happens. You know, other bars, huh? Oh, well, then, then I asked him about the congressional thing, and he told me to put the down, and, and Don was a good guy. And so now we got to check him out, do a little research. You know what I mean? So anyway, see if he signed. Well, I forget to sign in. I don't care if the people signed. <laughs> Oh, actually, I guess I do care. This first indication if they if they sign HR forty, we'll see what it, what he put the board did. Anyway. So I check his ass. I said, well, good luck, you know, because, you know, the election is November or whatever. I just, yeah, I'll, be, I'll be here to vote. Yeah. <laughs> am I here to vote? I sure am. I'll be here November 4th or 5th or something. I guess it must be 5th, Tuesday 5th. I'll be here. Yeah, I'll be voting. I'll be I love to go. I used to like New York better because New York back in the day, they had that, they had the, you pull the curtain, right? Then you had the, the lever and you go, shh, you put the big tick, 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 and you go, shh. That turned me on. Now there's voting, this or whatever they do now. Then when I was voting in New Jersey, you had to write, no, you had to do uh, some other stupid thing. New York was the best back in the day. Anyway, so we'll see what happens. And now he's got to look up ADOS101.com. Let's see if he does. We don't know. We meaning also me, T, from the Patterson segment, trying to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A-D-O-S, American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>